Things You Should Know About Alfred Nobel October 21st, 1833 to December 10th, 1896 The Nobel Prize is the highest award given to those who achieved greatness in their fields. Thanks to Alfred Nobel's will, he has left his wealth for those who serve humankind. Dynamite Who was the person to build the actual dynamite? Alfred Nobel. He wasn't so proud about it later in life. Nobel was an ambitious Swedish engineer and a businessman. He was one of the four children who survived out of the eight his parents had. Nobel's parents moved to St. Petersburg after repeated business failures in Sweden. His father made a fortune there and sent his son Nobel to the best of private tutors. He was brilliant in languages and chemistry. Like his father, Nobel started his own iron, steel and arms company. Bofors, a well-established company, was under his control. There is a synthetic chemical element named after him, Nobelium, and a couple of factories too. To show respect for his contributions, the world of chemistry. Nobel loved poetry. Nemesis, a prose tragedy he wrote, was published just as he was dying of cerebral hemorrhage. It's been staged a number of times. He was fluent in four languages, English, French, German, and Russian. Alfred Nobel created dynamite, but gave no thought to its effects. Reading the news of his own death, which was misprinted in a French newspaper, stating, the merchant of death is dead, upset him a great deal and set him thinking. This is how Nobel Prize was born. He left his wealth to be spent on honoring those who served humanity with kindness, physics, chemistry, physiology or medicine. Literature and peace formed the list. An award for economics was added later. Nobel Foundation, formed in 1900, is in charge of the funding. Nobel Prize is considered one of the most prestigious awards. The winners receive a large sum of money that is most often put to good use. Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore built his school, Shantanaketan with his prize money. Nobel remained unmarried throughout his life. His great-grandnieces and great-grandnephews bear the torch of the Nobel family. They have quite an influence on creating new categories in Nobel Prizes. Best way to get across these days is through videos. Pass this on to your friends in class.